There are a number of well-known health benefits to drinking tea, but for about 10% of the population, too much tea consumption can lead to a serious and painful ailment. Refreshingly Southern, whether it's sweet, unsweet, or with slices of lemon. But there's something about tea that doctors say people should know. The problem with tea and kidney stones is for those who are stone formers, the roughly 10% of patients who have a tendency to form stones and it tends to run in families. For those folks, iced tea, black tea, tea in really any kind of form poses a risk because of its high oxalate content. Oxalate is a naturally occurring chemical found in tea leaves that inhibits the body's absorption of calcium, causing stones to form in the kidney or ureter. When this stone drops down into the ureter or the tube that leads from the kidney to the bladder, it can block the passage of urine, which can lead to intense pain. Oh, I tell you, they hurt. Herbert Rock knows. He's had kidney stones off and on for years. His doctor told him to cut back on the sweet tea. He analyzed the kidney stone and said it was uh, coming from sweet tea, soft drinks. But Herbert says nothing can stop his love for this southern staple. I don't mean you to quit it. You just, you know, you just cut down some on it. Dr. Hammondtree agrees. Tea in and of itself has other health benefits. And for the population that is not at risk for kidney stones, there's nothing wrong with enjoying good old sweet tea. I'm Brittany McAlpin, America Now.